Today we're going to show you how to give a patient a treatment via Metanep. The Metanep has three different ways in which it can help treat the patient, or three different modes. The first mode, with the arrow pointed down, is the aerosol. This is used to administer aerosol medications. The second mode, with the arrow pointing to the left, is the CPEP mode, which stands for Continuous Positive Expiratory Pressure. The CPEP mode serves three purposes. It helps to aid in the mobilization of secretions, reduce air trapping, and prevent atelectasis or lung collapse. It does this by producing a consistent set airway pressure that helps in lung expansion. The respiratory therapist can increase or decrease the amount of airway pressure coming out of the machine by adjusting the dial on the left side. The third mode, with the arrow pointing to the right, is the CHFO mode or continuous high frequency oscillation. The CHFO portion is there to help enhance normal mucus clearance and resolve patchy atelectasis. This mode uses high frequency air during both inspiration and expiration to form a pressure gradient to the small airways where the secretions may be trapped. That pressure gradient creates an accelerated expiratory airflow that can be used to assist in moving the secretions to the upper airways where they can then be coughed up. So how do you use this machine when it comes to a patient? First you want to make sure you have all of your equipment together. You will need of course a MetaNeb machine, the circuit, and whatever attachment you decide to use for the patient. That can either be a mouthpiece or a mask. You might want to determine that based on how well the patient can follow directions. With the mouthpiece, in order for the treatments to work efficiently, they have to make sure they can make a continuous tight seal around it. If they are unable to do that, the mask might be a, the best way to go. Also, if the patient needs a nebulizer treatment along with the MetaNeb, you want to make sure to get the medication and nebulizer attachments. First, you want to plug the machine into the O2 outlet on the wall. Then plug the circuit wires into the machine. It only goes in one way, so you want to be sure that to then turn to the left and click it into place. Next, you want to empty your medication into the nebulizer. If you're using an Air Eclipse nebulizer, make sure you have it set on the continuous flow setting. Hand the mouthpiece to the patient or place the mask around their head. If using the mouthpiece, again make sure to tell the patient to keep a tight seal around it. Breathe in and out through their mouth as normal as possible. I need you to make a tight seal with your lips around the mouthpiece. Breathe in and out normally and keep your cheeks clenched. Once turned on, you should start it on the first mode of aerosol. Again, make sure to tell the patient to continue breathing at a normal pace. After a few seconds, switch it to mode 2, the CPAP mode. Inform the patient they are going to feel air pressure. Make sure you start it out on low. Look at the dial in the middle of the machine. When the patient breathes in and out, you will notice the dial will be going up and down. In order for the therapy to be effective, you have to make sure that it is at least reaching 10 when they are exhaling. If it is not getting up to 10, then it is too high for the patient, so you will want to turn it down to where it will be reaching 10. If the patient is consistently getting above 10, then you may want to turn it up to where the patient 
is comfortable and still able to tolerate it. After a few minutes on the CPAP mode, you will want to switch to the high frequency mode. Before switching it over, it is important to tell the patient to keep breathing as normal as they can. I'm going to change it to high frequency. It's going to sound and feel like a choo-choo chain. I'm going to need you to continue breathing normally. Don't try to keep up with the machine. Due to the alternating frequency of the air, sometimes they will cha change their breathing pattern to match the machine, which you do not want to happen. It may be best to inform them it will feel like a choo-choo train or try to associate it with something they can picture so they know what to expect. When you switch it over, look at the dial again and make sure it is still getting to 10. Just like the CPAP mode, if they are consistently above 10, flip the switch to the higher setting if the patient is still able to tolerate. After another two or three minutes on this mode, you will then want to turn it back to the CPAP. Let the patient know you are changing it back for a minute or so. After that, you will go back to the aerosol until the patient's nebulizer treatment is complete, if it isn't already. You will then turn the power to the MetaNeb off and you are done with the treatment. Disconnect the nebulizer from the machine and dump out any remaining medication that may be in, in there. Put the nebulizer portion in a bag and sit it next to the patient's bed so it can be used during the next treatment.